Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rapping like that. We on the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Oh, we make a way. Get out the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move. Get out the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out the way. Get out the way. Cause we on the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Cause we on the way. Wait. Switch up the fastest. And it get me the maddest. I stopped there because I knew y'all give me a bigger reaction. What the fuck we talking about, nigga? That's what we talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. So I want to break down every round that I've sketched about because I think I find good ways to put things in a literal perspective when it comes to these battles and who did what. And I know a lot of the talk right now is about chess, right? So chess, Cortland Ave's own, the Bronx, you know where I'm from, I don't gotta tell you. Um, it's like, I, I've been thinking, right? I've been thinking, right? I'm not trying to, I'm never gonna be a physician. I'm never gonna say what's wrong with someone and you know, give them a diagnosis. But I hear all of the chitter chatter and talk about what's going on out there, right? So he has a battle with Shotgun and Suge, and the battle does not go the way that he probably wanted it to go. You know, I'm thinking that he was looking forward to having a phenomenal battle, doing his thing, picking up where he left off. So I want to touch on a couple subjects. So first and foremost, a lot of people were saying that he didn't deserve to be on um, no, I mean, Summer Madness. He should have never been on Summer Madness. Why was he there? He was in over his head, blah, 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 right? So I had a really good conversation with Pete, Pete from URL. You know, if you guys don't know, you know, we were cool at one point. We fell out. But, you know, I don't got no issue with the man, you know what I'm saying? Like, we had a conversation and we spoke about a lot of things and put some things into perspective. And I feel like as grown men, you know what I mean, you should be able to talk. And if nobody got killed, nobody lost no money, nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like, we good. So. He, he put things into perspective in a way that a lot of people probably wouldn't. Um, he said that Chess did have the best battle on the URL app. He does have the best battle on the URL app. He had that with Easy to Block Captain. And, you know, the expectations is high for Chess. But to say that, quote, unquote, he didn't deserve to be there, you know, that's for the person to decide, right? So I did say that I didn't feel like Chess at this point in time deserves these big cards because and then this adds on to what a lot of folks were saying as far as like Gerald McCoy's and other folks as chess doesn't beat top tiers so when I started thinking about it I started looking like you know through his resume and things like that he's got a battle with Arsenal where you know people feel like he won he battled twerk but that was on band but for the most part most you know what I'm saying and the preponderance of evidence when we think of things theoretically you break down every round that you sketch about, and I look at a lot of the top tier battles that he had, whether it be Nitty, whether it be JC, whether it's Shine, uh, you know what I'm saying? I could just go on and on. John John, now Shotgun, Shug, uh, you know, Calico, like all of these battles on these big stages, the same thing keeps happening over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll start rapping. And like, even when he started rapping this week, I, I, I watched it again last night. You know what I mean? P you watching this, I do watch bootlegs. We never gonna get back. We can't, you know. <laughs> so, um, I I watched it again last night, and I was watching it to try to like gauge the material that he actually had. Like the material that he actually had in the first round. He definitely had some chess like material. Like he had some shit. And trust me, I'm gonna get into all other shit too, but I wanna speak it, you know what I'm saying? I wanna talk about it. Like, he has some fire lines. That when you dunk on someone you're supposed to rise, that was fucking fire. Like that was fire. And then a lot of the other joints that he had, like he was he definitely had some shit. We're not gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's wilding out in that joint. Um the rebuttal, I don't think that that rebuttal that he had, the big one of the biggest moments was not a rebuttal, we uh, the fake choke. Uh, I don't think that that was planned. 
I mean, I don't think that that was like a freestyle. I think that, that was planned. Like, I think this happened so much that he literally had this fake choke. I'm just doing that to get a bigger reaction. I think he, he it's, it's, it's mental now. It really is. I think it's in your mind. And it's, like I said, it's no pre-diagnosis. It's not me diagnosing him with anything. It's just saying that when you do something so frequently, like I say in the NBA, it's like basketball, right? Um, if you're used to missing free throws, right, it becomes a mental thing after a while. It is, you know, there's still schematics and form and practice and things like that, but after a while, it becomes a mental thing. Like you're used, like Ben Simmons last year or the year before, goes to the basket, doesn't want to get fouled, passes it. He's under the basket. He can run up there and dunk it. He passes it to Matisse Thybul in his last plays in Philly. Look crazy. He's going to the basket, six foot eleven. He could dunk on anybody. He passes it. It's a mental thing. Why? Because he don't want to go to the free throw line and shoot free throws. Now, when it comes to chess, he's thinking in his mind. You know what? If, and if the problem is, I said the biggest problem with chess is he's not good at recovering. There's a lot of battlers who if they stumble, or if they fumble, or if they choke, they can recover and have two more good rounds. If Chess starts messing up in his first round, you could might as well just go walk the dog. If you gotta go to the grocery store, go to the grocery store. You wanna roll up, you can do whatever you want. If he starts messing up in the first round because the rest of the battle is just gonna be a lot more of the same. And the thing is, it's not about the, it's how long they are. Like people stumble in battles, people will get up, oh, oh, and then they hold it down and cry. His chokes be so long that it takes away from the battle. When I'm watching the joint, I promise you, his first round, I was at the 17 minute mark of the battle. Like, you know, obviously with the beginning, the intro and all that other shit, that's cool, three, four minutes. But once he battled, I'm 11 minutes into his actual round, nine, 10, 11 minutes, and he's still going because he walked off. Debo has to clear the stage. Salute to Debo and everything that he's got going on. Amazing person. He's got prom night coming on. It'll be more coming with that too. Um, clears the area. Let's him go do his thing. He comes back. Shotgun Sugar's being the ultimate sportsman. And it was like, bro, he's, if he can't get it together on a high level, then maybe it should be the smaller cards. Like he does good in those. You don't be seeing all that shit when he battled uh, Loso, when he battled... Uh, uh, Kid Chaos, even when he battled Jerry West, battled Geechee, those weren't huge, huge stages, right? But here's where, for chess, like obviously we know all the things that's going on, with, here's where the league has to take some blame. I got word that he had material, but I don't know about the comfortability level with it because when you're three weeks out, two weeks out, 20 days out, 21 days, however many, it wasn't a long time that these guys got. He is not the person, he is not the person who you're gonna put on a card with that short of a window. If you know quintessentially what he does. Like, this is typical. So if something is typical, you're not gonna put him in a scenario as to where it could happen. He should have been the first one booked on the card to give him ample time, ample time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's, uh, you know, he could be a transcendent MC to break ground and do his thing, but it, you know, the devotion to what he's doing has to be there. And I know he's pledged allegiance to the gun titles, which is a great thing, but they can't help you in the ring. You know what I'm saying? They can't help you. I mean, they got, you know, get behind your ring. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Oh, what? you know what I'm saying? That, that's great. But they can't help you. Like, Easy can't jump in and start rapping for you. Surf can't just jump in and start rapping for you. Rock can't do the same either. And I think, you know, it's like, at times, we become enamored by what some of these MCs can do. And I know it's a great thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even tripping. I know it's a great thing. Like, we, I want to see Chess do good. I want to see him do his numbers. But I think it's a cause of concern at this point because I think it's more than just the raps, you know what I mean? In this scenario versus Shotgun Shook, and, and another thing, when I, let me go back to the chest doesn't beat top tiers thing. These guys who are battling on these stages are some of the best in the world. They're the best, like, you, it's very rare that you're gonna get a nigga on Gnome 
or Summer Madness or any of these big cars that just is not good at all. Like, what are they doing up here? Like, cannot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have bad battles. Like, there were some bad battles that people who do have bad battles, but overall, the talent is too, too good. That it's the NBA of, of battle rap. You can't come out there and not do good and expect good results. Um, like I said, I do think, you know, he has a future. He's still super young. What is he, 22, 23? He's young as hell, so he's got a lot of time to learn. The shit that I did at 23 is not the shit that I'm going to do at 33. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be. I think that we all have to, uh, you know, take things from that perspective. Now, I know there's some people who's going to be in the comments like, oh, fuck that, he choke all the time, this nigga's trash. I get it. Yeah, I get it. It's both sides. But I just think that for this occasion, this is the reason why I picked Shotgun Shook. This is the reason why I bet on Shotgun Shook. I love what Chess does. But I just, if you're a betting man, you go by the odds, the plus minus. Who is more likely to do what? You put him on that big stage, he is more likely to do X than this person is to do Y. You know what I mean? Like, it's just deductive reasoning. I just knew that Shotgun Shook has the potential to show up for three rounds. He's always going to bring it. And in this scenario, he just went above and beyond. You know, he was already out winning. But, uh, you know, I, I did have to take a step back and think about it even more because I did like, I'm not gonna lie, I liked some of the material that Chess had in his first round, I did, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that, you know, had he put it all together, and I know y'all sick of hearing if they put it together or if this person does that, or if, the, I know, I know, I know I do. Um, I'm just looking to see if I got any, um, any notes right quick. But in his first round, I do think that uh, he had some material, and I think that if he would have got through his material, it could have been a pretty different battle. But that's the same thing that happens with uh, when you see battles like uh, Summer Madness, you know, the last Summer Madness. It was always if, 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 if. And then the if happened because he got through his material and him and, um, him, and, him and Easy to Block Captain became a classic. But you know what's crazy? I want to tell y'all, right? Um, I, didn't, I never understood how somebody could go from having the greatest battle on the URL app to where he's at right now. Like, that fall is crazy. So, here's the Chess's first round. I just want to read y'all a couple little notes before we get out of here. Uh, he says, For 12 years you've been fucking average. The drugs I stumbled on ain't get us on Summer Madness. I thought that that was fine. That was a pretty dope line. Uh, he then says, I mean, he had a lot of other lines too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I want to just touch it on, on a few of them. Uh, in the future, I'll be in the Thames with, I mean, with a Drake. In the, in the future, I have a Drake in the Thames, and I'll wait for you. I thought that that was fire. Uh, he said, "Oh, when you dunk on somebody, you're supposed to rise. If it's beef, sticks break them in half. It's easier to snap when you're a Slim Jim. That was that was easy, right? Let's just say it like that. Uh, put in a dollars, put in dollar signs to the title like Ted DiBiase." Uh, life's, a, life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Like, that was fire, man. That was, he had some dope material, man. Overall, uh, I don't think it's over for Chess. Like, the, the blog I'll title, Is It Over For Chess? I like that. But I do not think it's over for him. I think that he still has an opportunity to do amazing things. But at the same time, there is a cause for concern because the, you invested in him. And this is happening on Caffeine's Dime over and over and over. John John, Caffeine Dime, Calico, Caffeine Dime. Uh, this battle with Suge, Caffeine Dime. He's only had like one or two good battles on Caffeine. Like, easy to block Captain, and I think, don't quote me, and I think Ch uh, Shine, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Shine won that joint, but he still didn't, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't doing all of that. It's because it was a small room, it was a smaller environment. Smaller environment, you gotta, you gotta kinda sign, kinda like pack it in a little bit. A thousand people, if it's anxiety or if he's nervous, you put him in front of a thousand people again, you're gonna get the same result. You know, I mean, it is what it is. But I got a lot of love for, for Chess, man. Salute to him, I hope, you know, he gets through it. But this is like the recurring theme. We've been doing this for like the last, probably like four or five years. It's, he keeps rearing his ugly head, and here we are again. But uh, shout out to everybody, hope all is well, gang. Get out the way, cause I'm on the way. Get out the way.